Good morning and welcome back to McLenahan Life Guidance. So I guess my new thing is um having something for you guys the second I wake up. So I don't normally dream very often. That's something that's starting to be new for me again. Um I only ever really had night terrors. Ever. But I don't ever remember having a good dream until around when I started smoking weed when I was around fifteen. And it started helping block my dreams out. Uh, and I actually got to the point where I didn't dream really for years, or at least I don't remember it. Um, but I'm starting to allow that to happen. So the biggest thing I got is I kept waking up and I just... I kept... All I could remember every time I woke up, I probably woke up four times, was I was seeing, like... It was almost like an old... It wasn't an old person, but it was just, and it wasn't like a sick person or a frail person, but it seemed like that compared to the other person. And I don't know these people, they're not symbolic for me, but after I got up, I kind of recognized, sorry. Ooh. After I woke up, I kind of um, clued in its, it was a uh, spirit's representation of, um, rebirthing out of an old cycle um an old if this is going to resonate you've been through a lot and you're um you're coming out on the other side uh a new person so is there any advice for the people who are going through that transformation spirit Pe people who are coming out shiny and new coming out the best version of themselves not worn out worn down weary anymore sorry <laughs> my eyes are still blurry we have ace of ariel it's your lucky day new resources of time money or support a change in a job or promotion so if you have been looking for uh, towards a change in career or anything like that um you know, if you're changing your relationships in your life, like, you're on the right path. Change. This, this, this one's all about change in your life. We have the page of Ga uh, Gabriel. No, Gabriel. Sorry. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passions. You're ready for any challenge, and there are opportunities coming in for excitement. So, you just keep having that zest for life that you've had, that little bit of a change. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's coming. You're going to be surprised. Like, 303, all that. As hard as it, it you know, still can sometimes be to maintain that positivity and, and maintain, you know, your manifestations and stuff. You're doing a good job. And keep it up because something's around the corner. Um, we have Knight of Michael, strong, committed, int intelligent, intellectual, intelligent. Sorry, I'm not really, really good at reading. <laughs> Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. So, it maybe that relates. Sorry, maybe that relates to a reading that reading I did last night. Um, about you know a choice, your yeah, choice coming or a proposal or something coming. Um. And being that it's a knight of Michael saying that, I'm going to take that as um, your manifestations and your path are protected for the future. So you don't have to worry about it being screwed up or doing the wrong thing or somebody else, you know, not doing their part. You're doing what you need to be doing. That was from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. My word. I had a good full night's sleep, too. Actually, I probably overslept, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. It's parting advice. Oh, there's an Archangel Power. There, the card under my foot. We have two of Ariel. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun, and it was upside down. So, um... You're either allowing something to be a part of your your daily life that isn't fun for you 
and you need to not be doing that or you're not remembering to take a step back and enjoy what you're doing um because i'm getting the sense you do enjoy it but you push it's easy to push some of the fun out by being too serious we have a new start is coming prosperity lies ahead Upside down, we have you and your loved ones are safe. And then we have communication is key. So a new start is coming. Prosperity lies ahead. You and your loved ones are safe. Communication is key. So, <clears throat> these two basically are what I've been saying. A new start's coming. You have your shit's coming in. However, the you and your loved ones oh, are safe upside down. I take that as um, there's people that you love that you've had to keep at arm's length, maybe even cut off or let go of. Um, you don't need to feel bad about that. And, and it's a new moon in cancer which is really ironic too because cancer is all about caring and you know big heart kind of energy um and so i what i get from that is it's it's really hard to let those people go but you need to do what's good for you in order to get that new start in order to get that prosperity and communication is going to be key because there's probably going to be a moment where you have to deal with these people again and how you react is going to judge how they narrate um, the interaction. I feel like there's one more message for you guys. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'll pull from this one. Oh, my house has a chill. Which I'm really starting to feel now that I'm not under a blanket. All right, one last message for the collective spirit. Angels, archangels, spirit guides, ascended masters. I act with integrity <laughs> and take responsibility for my own actions. Justice. You will be getting justice for the ones in your life who lack integrity. It's a funny little side joke in my life. I speak my truth with confidence and I get my point across clearly. Queen of Swords. Um, so you're getting your justice and ain't nobody gonna fuck with the Queen of Swords. Ain't no one gonna fuck with that bitch. So don't worry. The spirit's gotta be to take the bottom of the deck. I am ready to move forward and leave behind what does not serve me. I'll say that again. I'm ready to move forward and leave behind what does not serve me. Six of Swords. So the Spirit's saying there might still be some things that you need to release. Um, but you're almost there. You're almost that shiny new person. You're not that uh, broken shell of a person that I saw in my dreams. You're the fresh looking person clean you know, you know like i can't even picture the the other person in my dreams i just know it was every I, every time i woke up the only thing i remember was there was two and one looked like broken down and the other looked like like i don't know like a fresh fucking clone or something like somebody brand new like a whole new person um so you're going through a big transformation, and make sure you give yourself a break for that. Don't give yourself, you know, too hard of a time for it. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. If you want longer readings, I will be doing longer readings and more pick-a-card readings. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, there is a link in my bio if you are not already on YouTube. And thank you for everybody who does like and subscribe and comment. It means a lot, and it definitely helps me out more than I even think I realize. I'm still learning this crap. However, my timer's almost up, so you guys have yourselves a great freaking day.